Hello and welcome to Traditional Painting the Digital Way. This is where I use digital painting apps to teach traditional painting techniques. This is part two of our Castle Ruin series. And in this part, we're going to finish working on the clouds and add in the hills and the water. If you're following along traditionally, then check out part one in this series where I have a list of all the pastels and all the materials that I use when I'm doing pastel paintings. And I also have a list of the paper and what kind of paper that you might want to use. We're going to be using Infinite Painter for Android and we're going to go ahead and start working on the sky a little bit more. And I've decided to use the Raimi brush a little bit to go ahead and add back a little bit of some yellow color. And you might want to use yellow ochre for this. Just some kind of a, a medium yellow color. And just go ahead and add it back into the clouds. And just go ahead and sm smudge it in if you're following along traditionally. And you can use your stomp or you can actually use the cloth or paper towel just a little bit but you might want a little bit more control so go ahead and, and use your stomp and then here we're going to start adding the edges to the clouds and this is what they call the silver lining of the clouds and you probably want to switch to a white pastel pencil or at least a very light yellow color and just go ahead and follow your photo reference that you have and add in the edges of the clouds here. And you probably want to use your stomp to blend them in because we don't want to, to wipe away all the color. We want this white to show out a little bit. So here I was using the Vince brush and Infinite Painter with the making sure that the texture is on because that gives it the pastel look. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the Vince brush for a little bit more blending here. And I'm switching back and forth between the spray and the, the paint brush category for blending. I picked the Mirando brush for the blending of the pastel pencil and you want to leave a little bit of that detail but you kind of want to also smudge in the edges and not leave it quite so prominent on your painting so just go ahead and, and blend it in use your blending stomp you can use your finger but again like I said in the in the previous video that your finger probably gets sore if you're using really rough paper so it's best just to use a blending stomp and just go ahead and and go ahead and blend that out and then here I'm just working a little bit more on the settings of the Leo brush just because I want to add a little bit more white and but I want it to blend in here so I'm just adding a little bit more to the clouds you might use your pastel stick for this this step because you want a little bit broader strokes on your painting then of course we want to go ahead and, and blend it in too but we don't want to to lose all of that we just want the indications of the the white to show up and you can go ahead and actually tweak your settings on the on the blending too so I was just working on the Leo brush a little bit more just to kind of get it to blend in a little bit better but not kill all the white because we want that edge and that final highlight for our clouds so go ahead and save that now that you've got the clouds done now put the next I've put the next uh, grass or the mountains we're going to be doing the mountains so I put those on a separate layer and I just put each stage on a separate layer because if you don't it's hard to go back and, and make changes so that's one of the advantages of digital painting is that you can actually go back and make changes to your background 
Anyway, here I'm adding some background hills and I got a whole bunch of different Castle Ruin pictures from Pixabay and I'm just taking the features from each picture that I want and adding them together just to make one big picture, but I'm not, you know, copying from any one picture here. I'm just taking elements that I like from each picture and adding them together to, to make my own picture, basically. So I'm using sort of a blue-gray here for the background hills and just sort of tweaking the shape of it, but I'm kind of following one of the pictures that I got off of Pixabay. And just go ahead and put that in with a pastel stick. You can use the pastel pencil if you're following along traditionally to tweak the edges. And then here I'm working on the grass, the, the hills that are very grassy. It's not, it's, this is not foreground grass. This is medium ground grass. And so I picked probably a, a medium green. The colors are going to vary on your pastel sets. So you just kind of have to go with what they look like. I'm throwing in a little bit of uh, yellow ochre or a brownish color. When you're doing greens, you don't want them to look like a solid green because if you look at your photo references, they're not. There's yellows in them, there's browns, there's all kinds of different colors. And we recently had a discussion on YouTube about green, painting green. And it's kind of tricky because it can get monotonous. So you need to add colors into your green. You need to add some blues and even purples and browns, yellows, all, all different colors because you don't want just a solid green. You want to give the indication of ground and different colors of grass and things like that. And here I'm also adding in the sky. And it will be about the same color as your sky. So pick, pick the same chalk that you use to make your sky color and use it for your water. And you can use a chalk pastel for this. Just smudge it in and you can use your paper towel or old t-shirt just to smooth it in. And then go ahead and add in the shoreline there. And you can use a, a brownish color, possibly a burnt sienna color or a variation of that. And just go ahead and add that in and add it over your grass a little bit. And just make rough strokes right now. You can smooth it. You'll smooth it in later. But you kind of want the, the different color variations to be shown. So probably use your blending stomp if you're following along traditionally. And, you know, digitally just don't blend everything away here. We want different variations of green. Now we're adding some dark green in here. We're also adding some yellowish green. And you just kind of want to do that, but don't cover up the first green that you had either. You just kind of want to leave pockets of it showing through. And then you're going to go ahead and sort of smudge that in and blend it out a little bit. And just make it look smooth, but not completely smooth. Because we want a little bit of some texture there to show the different variations of the ground and uh, the grass, just different, all the different things that are out there, the different vegetation and rocks and the different shapes of the hills. So just go ahead and, and keep adding different colors of green if you have them in your pastel kit and, and just smooth them out, but don't totally smooth them away. So this is the end of part two of our Castle Ruins series. And in part three, we're going to go ahead and work a little bit more on the water. And we're going to also start adding in the castle ruins. So thanks everybody for watching. Thank you so much for your support. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. And I will catch you later.